Today's video is on jet transforms. In today's video, I am going to explain the shifting property, shifting towards the left side. See here the property. If Z transform of F of N is equal to capital F of Z, then Z transform of F of N plus K is equal to Z par K into F of Z minus F of 0 minus Z inverse into F of 1 minus Z par minus 2 into F of 2 and so on. So this is the recurrence formula. See here, it is shifted towards the left side for k units. So it is z par k into capital F of z minus small f of 0 minus z inverse of small f of 1 minus z to the power of minus 2 into f of minus 2. So in particular we have, see here, if it is shifted towards left side for one unit, so this will be so, Z transform of F of N plus 1 is equal to, so for 1 unit, this is Z power 1 into capital F of Z minus F of 0. See clear? And if it is shifted for 2 units towards left side, this will be Z square into capital F of Z minus, this is F of 0 minus Z inverse of this is F of 1. So, if it is shifted towards left side for 3 units, then for 3, this is z power minus 3 into capital F of z minus small f of 0 minus z inverse of small f of 1 minus z inverse of minus 2 into f of minus 2. So, this is about the shifting theorem or shifting property. So, using the shifting theorem, here is the most important problem. So, we have to find out the z transform of 2 into 3 power n plus 5 n and deduce z transform of 2 into 3 power n plus 3. See, if you observe here, there is n and here it is n plus 3. So, n is shifted towards the left side for 3 units plus wherever there is n. So, we have to deduce to n plus 3. So, plus 5 into n plus 3 using the shifting theorem. So, it's very clear here. And now what is given? So, first of all, we have to find out the z transform of z transform of 2 into 3 power n plus 5 n. So, this is 2 I am bringing outside and this is nothing but z transform of 3 power n and 5 it's a constant. I am bringing outside and z transform of n. So, we have a clear formula that, see, we have a clear formula for z, par, z of a power n. So, z of a power n is nothing but z by z minus a. So, z by z minus a. Now, I am going to substitute here as 2 into, this is z by z minus. In place of a, we have 3 and 5 into what is z transform of n? It is nothing but z by z minus 1 whole square. So, this, these two are the some properties here. So, z bar n. z bar n is nothing but z by. This is z minus 1 whole square. So, special functions of z transforms. So, now this will be. So, this value is nothing but 2z by z minus 3 plus this is 5z by. This is z minus 1 whole square. So, this value is nothing but, see here, f of z transform of f of n is nothing but capital F of z. And so, this value is going to become capital F of z. And f of n is nothing but this one, 2 into 3 power n plus 5 power n. So, now see here, z transform of, z transform of 2 into, this is 3 power n plus 5 n is nothing but, the value here is 2z by this is z minus 3 plus this is 5z by this is z minus 1 whole square. So, in terms of um, f of n, I am going to write this as z transform of f of n is equal to capital F of z. So, we got f of n value. So, after getting f of n value, so we have to use the shifting theorem. Shifting for Three units. See here, now I have to deduce this value. So, I need this value. Z transform of 2 into 3 power n plus 3 plus 5 into this is n plus 3. 
So according to our problem, we got Z transform of, see here, Z transform of 2 into 3 power n plus 5 n value as. So we got the value as this is 2Z. See here, this is 2Z into Z minus 3 plus this is 5Z into Z minus 1 whole square. So Z minus 1 whole square. So this can be written as Z transform of. So Z transform of F of N is nothing but capital F of Z. So we got capital F of Z as this. And now according to shifting theorem. So where is the shifting theorem here? According to shifting theorem. So just now I've shown you Z transform of F of N plus 3. According to the shifting theorem, it is Z cube into capital F of Z minus this is f of 0 minus z inverse into f of 1 minus z to the power of minus 2 into f of 2. See clear? So this is nothing but shifting property. According to the shifting property, we have this formula. So now what is f of n here? So it is very clear from the question f of n is nothing but. So f of n is nothing but 2 into 3 power n plus 5 power n. Now see here we need f of 0. So I am keeping 0 in place of n. That is 2 into 3 power 0 plus 5 into 0. So this is 2 into 1 plus 0. The value here is 2. So we got f of 0 value as. So we got f of 0 value as 2. Clear? And next I am going to keep f of 1. So I need the value of f of 1 here. So f of 1 is nothing but so, if I keep in place of n as 1, so this is 2 into 3 power n plus 5 into 1. So, this is 2 into 3 plus 5. That is a 6 plus 5. The value here is 11. So, this value is nothing but f of 1. So, after f of 0 and f of 1, see here, I need f of 2. Now, I am going to keep n is equal to 2. So, in this, if I keep n is equal to 2, See, if I keep n is equal to 2, then f of 2 value will be 2 into 3 square plus 5 into 2. So, which is equal to 2 into 9 plus 10. So, which is equal to, see here, so this value is nothing but 18 plus 10, which is equal to 28. So, I got all the values ready here, that is f of 0, f of 1, f of 2 and capital F of Z also is ready. So what is capital F of Z? Capital F of Z is nothing but the question here is. So this value is nothing but the capital F of Z. That is 2Z by Z minus 3 plus this is 5Z by Z minus 1 whole square. So this is capital F of Z. So according to the shifting problem, I got capital F of Z value, F of 0, F of 1, F of 3. And now I am going to substitute in this shifting problem. So, what is our shifting property? Shifting property is nothing but Z transform of F of N plus 3 is equal to this is Z cube into capital F of Z minus F of 0 minus Z inverse into this is F of 1 Z power minus 2 into this is F of 2. Now, see here the value if I substitute this will be the value here is what is f of n plus 3. So, in place of n, I am going to keep n plus 3 plus 5 into this is n plus 3 which is equal to. So, this value is z cube. What is f of z here? f of z is nothing but 2z by z minus 3 plus 5z by this is z minus 1 whole square. What is f of 0? So, the value of f of 0 is nothing but 2. So, I am going to substitute f of 0 minus z inverse into what is f of 1? f of 1 value is 11. So, here the value here is 11 minus z power minus 2 into f of 2 value is nothing but 28. So, this is 28. Now, this is the final answer. See here the final answer is nothing but this is z cube into so the value here is z cube into 2z by z minus 3 plus 5z by this is z minus 1 whole square minus 2 minus 11 by z minus 
this is 28 by z square so this is the final answer so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and hope you all guys understand if you really understand please practice definitely uh, this is the most important question